Okay, in this example, what we want to do is take the upper half of an ellipse and revolve it around the x-axis to make a solid, and then we'll calculate the volume of that solid. The ellipse is x squared over 2 plus y squared is equal to 1. And you'll recognize that as an ellipse with a major axis along the x-axis of 2 and a minor axis of 1 along the y-axis. Well, here's a nice picture of that ellipse. We can draw out the major axis of 2, the minor axis of 1, and the idea, of course, is to revolve this around the x-axis to make a figure. And here's a, a somewhat nicer looking version of this figure, this three-dimensional figure. Now this figure is a perfect candidate for integration with disks. We can draw in disks that are perpendicular to the x-axis. They have a width of dx and they can be stacked up to reproduce this figure. Here's a nicer view of what those might look like. So they've got circular cross-sections and we might say that if we drew in a, a z-axis coming out of the page that the radius in the y direction and the radius in the z direction would be exactly the same. I don't really need to use z. Now thinking ahead a little bit, I'm just going to solve for y squared here. So we get y squared is equal to 1 minus x squared over 2. So then I can write out the volume equation for one of our disks. It has a, a thickness of dx and uh, so it's just pi r squared times dx. We're integrating along the x-axis. And of course, r squared is just y squared, and y squared is equal to 1 minus x squared, so we'll plug that in for there. And that's why I didn't find y, I just found y squared. So we can easily write out our integral now. It's, uh, in fact, I'm going to take advantage of symmetry here, and I really only need to integrate between 0 and 2 because the, the right and left sides of this, this solid ellipsoid are really the same. Um, and so here's our, our integral. Now this is a pretty straightforward integral to solve, so I'll just whip through this pretty quickly and you can follow along. So evaluating the limits here is actually a lot easier um, after taking advantage of the symmetry of the problem because one of our limits is zero. Having a, a zero limit of integration is always a good thing. And we end up with a resulting volume of uh, 4 pi over 3. And let's write in some units, just units cubed. So that's really a pretty easy figure.